Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can automatically create lead in Zoho CRM directly from Google Sheets. Here I'm sending my leads to Zoho CRM but in place of Zoho CRM you can create leads in other CRM also like HubSpot, CRM etc. Now Google Sheets and Zoho are two different applications and there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Zoho CRM. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Pabli Connect. So that whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets, Pabli Connect will automatically create lead in Zoho CRM. And you know the and you know what the best part is? This process requires no coding knowledge and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with an example and learn the whole process. Okay, so this is my Google Sheets which is connected to Zoho CRM through Pabli Connect and this is my Zoho CRM account. Here in the Google Sheets whenever a new row will be added here in the Zoho CRM it will create a, it will create a lead. Okay, so that's how it is going to work. So here I'm adding a new row that is Paul. Okay, here Roy and email ID is poll at the rate gmail.com. Okay, and here the number, random number that is this one. Okay, and here the company name is Paul Enterprises. Okay, and here the city is that is Indore. Wonderful now the annual revenue is somewhat like Okay, wonderful now this is new row which is added in Google Sheets now I'm going back to Zoho CRM and we'll see whether the Lead is created there or not. Okay, so let me just fix the alignment here Okay, wonderful now going back to so CRM and here I am refreshing the page Okay, it is refreshing and taking some kind of time. Okay, not to worry. Let me just scroll it. Okay, so here it is. That is Paul Roy, Paul Enterprises and Paul at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so this is the detail and the lead is created. That's how Public Connect worked. Okay, now how we done it. So let's learn the process by typing pabli.com in the new tabs browser. That is P A B B L Y dot com. Pabli dot com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. Okay, this is a landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to click on sign in. As I've already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also create your free account just in two minutes. So click on sign in. Okay, so this is my profile and here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, so that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create the workflow with the help of this create workflow button. Okay, here you have to name your workflow and I'm giving it name as Google Sheets to Zoho CRM. Wonderful. Now click on create. Okay, so whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. Now we will talk about these two windows. First, let me tell you that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so now these two windows. Now you might be thinking what is this trigger window or what is this action window? Or what is this trigger or what is this action so let me tell you when it comes to automation it works on the concept of triggers and action trigger says when this happens action says do this suppose in this particular use case that means Google Sheets to Zoho CRM whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets will be a trigger and create lead in Zoho CRM will be action of this process okay and this is the automatic thing 
Okay, so here in the trigger window, we are going to choose a trigger application that is Google Sheets. So here Google Sheets. Okay, so Google Sheets. And here in the trigger event. Okay, so one more thing I would like to mention that here we are making a connection between these two application, but how we are connecting Google Sheets with Pabli Connect first and then Pabli Connect with Soho CRM. In this manner, we are making a connection between these two applications. Okay, so whenever we'll choose this trigger event, this webhook URL section will arrive. Okay, so this URL or webhook URL will help us to connect Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Okay, for that, we have to follow these all steps. Okay, so what we are going to do, I'm going back to my Google Sheets. Okay, so this is a newly created Google Sheet that is Zoho CRM Leads. Okay, here I have created it by adding first name, last name, mobile number and email, company, annual revenue and city. Okay, so these are the fields of my sheet. Here I'm going to make an entry. Okay, so this is Shreyansh. Okay, and the last name is Malhotra. Okay, sorry, just let me remove. Okay, so this is Malhotra. Okay, so here mobile number, just a random one, and email again a random one. Okay, so this is the email, and here I'm going to make a company or I'm going to write the company name as. Victoria pastries okay so the annual revenue is suppose 9,000 okay and the city is how about Delhi okay so yeah this is just a random detail or random entry okay so here i'm just going to fix the alignment okay wonderful now i have added this entry now what we are going to do we are going back to this public connect and here we are copying this url okay so copying it and here it is waiting for the webhook response okay so going back to this google sheets and here what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this add-on section and here i'm going to click on this public connect webhook as in my system it is already installed that's why i'm directly clicking it but in case you haven't installed it please install with this section that is get add-ons and here you have to click on this search bar here and you have to type it as public connect webhook okay public connect webhook where in this google workspace marketplace okay so here whenever you'll click on this public connect webhooks this appear as it is already installed it is showing it so i'm not bothering it and closing this window you have to install it in your system and make sure you should refresh your google sheet okay as soon as you'll arrive back to this google sheet okay so here i'm going to click on this public connect webhook and going to click on initial setup okay so here i'm going to paste url okay so here two sections are visible that is webhook url and trigger column so webhook url again i'm showing you this one okay this url i have already copied let's copy once more okay and here i'm going to paste it wonderful now in the trigger column you have to add your last column up to where you want to capture the data. Like in my case, it is G up to the city one that is G. Okay, so here I'm adding it as G column. You have to add your last column. Okay, so yeah, this is done. And here in the public connect section, it is already waiting for webhook response. So I'm going to click on send test. Okay. Okay, so test data sent successfully. Now I'm going to submit it. Okay, and one more thing I'm going to do that is add-ons and here public connect webhooks again. And here I'm going to click on this send on event. Okay, this will help you to connect every time whenever you will add a new row here. Otherwise, it will not take the entry. Okay, so make sure you should make it as a tick mark. 
okay it is working it is showing working okay wonderful here i'm just showing you how it looks like okay this tick mark is important here wonderful now i'm going back to public connect and here we have captured the response and we have got the details that is name last first name last name number and this one that is email id company name annual revenue and the city okay so these details can be mapped in the down action window how i will tell you okay these details will be easily available down there so let me just add action window and sorry action application and here i'm going to choose my action application as zoho crm okay that is zoho and crm okay this is my application so here the action event is create lead as we are creating lead wonderful now we have to connect our zoho crm with public connect okay this was the second process that's why i'm going to click on connect and here connect with zoho crm yes and here we have to add the domain which domain let me just to, uh, let me just tell you here go back to this section and here in the url section just copy this particular domain okay and just copy it and you have to paste it over here okay wonderful now click on this done button and here it will ask for the access so public connect public connect is 100% safe to use so you have to accept this or it is 100% safe for use you can trust it easily so here i'm going to click on this accept button okay and here it is successfully connected okay so now the fields are visible company first name last name des designation email phone number okay these details will be according to your sheets okay some details will be a required thing so we have to fill them at any cost okay so yeah here let's start filling the details so i've told you that the above details can be mapped easily so how in this manner okay so this is first name okay sorry sorry it is company thing so we are adding it as company okay so this is the company wonderful it was just mistake so ignore it okay so here the first name it is first name shreyansh okay and here the last name okay so the last name is this is malhotra wonderful and now here designation not very interested and this email section over here email is this one wonderful and here i'm going to enter the mobile number or i'm mapping the data of mobile this one and going down okay and email option i'm just making it as no i don't want emails okay and here i'm going to add some kind of city thing okay this is the city and it is i guess delhi okay so yeah and one more thing annual revenue is there okay this is a required field so you have to add it at any cost okay so yeah i'm just adding it scrolling it down okay here wonderful now i think we have done with almost all the details now i'm going to click on save and send test request okay here I'm going to click on save and send test request i'm not bothering these details because i don't really want to fill it that's why it totally depends on your sheet okay so here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay so the response received that means the new lead is created okay so record added that means new lead is created okay wonderful now i'm going to save it okay now going back to zoho crm and here i'm going to refresh it okay i'm going to refresh the page and here it is refreshing it and here it will be visible okay this is shreyansh malhotra victoria pastries and this is malhotras at the rate gmail.com okay so this was our entry okay let me just go back here and let me just show you the details that we received in public connect okay this one okay so that's how we have created lead in soho crm with the help of public connect 
directly from Google Sheets. Okay, so I'm just minimizing these windows. That means action and this trigger window. Okay, this one. And this one. Okay, so what we have basically done, we have connected Google Sheets with Zoho CRM. Okay, how? Firstly, we have connected Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, then Pabli Connect with Zoho CRM. In this manner, we have built a connection between Google Sheets and Zoho CRM. So, I hope you really found the video helpful. If you really like it, please like, share and subscribe the video. And if you have any query, please visit pabli.com that is P-A-B-B-L-Y dot com and the link is given in the description box. Thank you so much for watching.